Now that we're in the kitchen area, let's talk to the maid. Hello, miss. Hello, I'm Francesca, the kitchen maid and parlor maid. We hardly have any maids left. Hey, I recognize your voice. And I recognize your face. I met you outside. Yes, I was told to go and find you, sir. I, it wasn't my idea. I just do what I'm told. Obedience is rewarded. Disobedience is always punished here. So what happened to the other maids? I was told they all went away for personal reasons, but I fear something terrible happened to them. People acting strange, terrible noises. I, I can't say nothing more, sir. Well, what do you think about the family that owns the mansion? They've always been eccentric but kind, sir. In recent years, there's more eccentricity and less kindness. How long have you worked here? 17 years, sir. I was brought here when I was 10. Orphan with no one to care for. A kid with dead foreign parents living on the streets of London. Until Lady Isabel was kind enough to bring me here. And uh, what do you think about the other people who work here? I like Molly and Gary. I steer clear of Giles when he's up the pole. Yeah, he likes getting drunk. He's, he's not somebody you want to be around when he's drunk. Penelope, she lost her mind when the children died. And it doesn't look like Isabel is doing too well over the death of her children either. Uh, Penelope being the maid who took care of the children. So are there any truths to the tales of monsters in the area? I've never seen any. I've heard terrible noises. What kind of noises? Howling, anguish. Whether human or animal, I don't know. My heart tells me they're human. That's terrible. Have you told anybody else? I quickly learned to keep my mouth shut, sir. People told me I was a silly girl to say such things. Alrighty. So, uh, that's her. Let's talk to Isabel. Are you Isabel? Who are you, child? I'm Molly. Ah, oh, this is Molly, the servant. Hi, Molly. So, what do you do here? I'm a scullery maid. I clean the bedchambers, too. How long have you worked here? Since I was a child, I'm not sure how old I was when I was brought here. I don't really remember my parents, but Lord and Lady Denison were kind enough to take me in and give me this job. What do you think of the family? Please don't ask me that question. I know they're terrible people, but I wouldn't have a home without them. Please, if you know something important about them, say they're secret vampires, you gotta tell me. I'm sorry, I can't tell you anything more. Yeah, she's too scared to say anything else. So is there a telephone or horses? Uh, no, the family likes being alone because they're vampires. We did have horses, but not for years. So my wife and children, have you seen them? I haven't, your lordship. We you know about the dead guy outside. <gasps> That's terrible! I, I don't know anything about it. I'll take my leave of you, my child. Okay, this is... That's where she cleans stuff. We have a bottle of whiskey, right? We have a bottle of whiskey, so let's ask her. Can we have the bottle of whiskey? It's only leftovers, but it's... Leftovers, but it's given to the servants in kindness. You ain't having it for nothing! Hey, wh I've, I've got a three penny. Do you want it? Three pence? <laughs> well, I'll, it's a deal. I'll take it. All right, I'll talk to you later. So I gave her the three pence, and now I get the whiskey. I've taken the bottle of whiskey. So the three pence uh, was inside the green sofa over here. And we are going to give it to this man. Hey, Giles. I know you like whiskey, bro. So uh, why don't you uh, take some of this whiskey? Hmm, yes, I'll take it. I think I'll go somewhere private. And uh, do you know much about this mansion? Old building built on a Roman villa, something like that. You can ask Lord Denison. So what do you know about the Denisons? Noble heritage dating back to Edward III's reign. They've lived in this area since Charles I was on the throne. The current Lord and Lady are very traditional. And the other servants? Gary's stupid. Francesca, she's terrible at cooking. Molly's nice. She deserves better than this place. Penelope is crazy. Don't ask me about them. Wow, I thought this mansion would have more than just five people. You'd be right. We used to have about 20, but many died and they weren't replaced. Okay, so he goes upstairs to drink. Now we can go upstairs to explore. So there's furniture blocking the way to the left, and I think there's something blocking the stairs to the top floor. It's Isabel, and she's crying. Isabel, what's wrong? Charlotte lost her music. 
the, the tune we'd always play together. She was so angry. Oh, no, not at me. The music makes her happy. She always disappears afterwards. Hey, if I find this music, I'll let you know. Anything else I can do for you? Poetry calms me down. Uh, the collection by Wordsworth, that's gone missing. It wasn't in the game room when I looked. Okay, I'll see if I can find it. So this is a puzzle. Uh, we need to find that book of poetry in order to get upstairs. Otherwise, Isabel won't let us to the third floor of the manor. So this room is locked. It used to be the children's room. Sir, sir, I must tell you something. What is it, Francesca? Or rather, I have to show you something. Please meet me at the lounge as soon as you can. Well, all righty then. I guess we will. And uh, on the far right here, we have this room. I think this also might have been a child's room. That's a weird painting. Huh, Peddler of Scarves. Huh. We have an old bed. We have a musical box with mountains on the lid, but no way to turn it on. We have a teddy bear. It's terrifying. Uh, a goldfish bowl. Playthings. Sophie used to have a plaything. I hope she's not dead. And a place for some clothes. Everything's empty, except for a nail file. I found uh, the nail file. Hmm, can I use the nail file here as a, a, to work the music box? Ah, oh, that doesn't work. I'm actually going to need, what do you call it? A screwdriver, I need a screwdriver for this particular challenge. Okay, so when I find a screwdriver, I'll fix that music box. Oh, and here's something creepy. Check out the painting. It's a woman from the new world. It's a skew. Let's fix it. Ah! Someone's spying on us. Who's there? Who's there? Who's spying on me? I... I see no one. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know who's spying on us. Who's this guy? Stephen Dawn. Okay. Fantastic. All right, and this is a classroom. All sorts of stuff, like, uh, looks like math. Got a map. Uh, we have a book. And the left one has a book of poetry. That's the book Isabel's looking for. So I'm going to grab that book of poetry and give it to her. Oh, thank you. I'll go to the music room and read. It calms me. Goodbye for now, Isabel. And here we are on the third floor. The second floor. Second floor, excuse me. So if my family is somewhere in the house, it, it has to be here because I've explored everywhere else. Everywhere else in this house. So let's see if I can identify all the rooms. Far to the right, we have Giles' room, and he's drunk. He's just drunk and passed out. We can't really do anything here. With a large, pointless vase. Ew, it's green. Disgusting. This is a console table. Ah, and it's uh, Penelope's room. What do you think you're doing in here, sir? Uh, hey, I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm just looking for my family. The house? Yeah, you can enter the house, but not my private chamber. I'm sorry to disturb you. I believe my family's in danger. Could I ask you a few questions? This is madness. Charlotte's gone too far. Ask and be gone. So, uh, who are you? I'm the child's nurse and educator. Educator. I'm Penelope. So where are the children? I know they're dead. Why am I asking this question? This is so insensitive. The children are... Yeah, the children have been gone for years. So why are you still here? No, the children will be back. Nothing bad happened to them. The horror didn't come. It didn't happen. She's deluded. When did they go missing? It's been weeks, months, years. They will come back. My heart knows this. They will return and will be whole, unharmed. So what exactly happened in this place? Do you know the people who live here? The Denisons are kind, very kind. Lady Charlotte, I don't really know her. She's intimidating. The servants? Gels is usually half drunk. Gary's nice, he's just dumb. Francesca and Molly are okay, but neither are my chuckaboo, exactly. She is shockingly forthright in her views. So do you have a, a chuckaboo? Maybe I could be your chuckaboo. I always prefer spending time with children, not adults. Their minds are so much purer. I wish the children were here. But nothing bad's happened to them. Nothing bad. Nothing bad. <laughs> so, has anything, anyone disappeared? So many people have gone missing over the years. Paul the Footman's the latest. So lots of people have gone missing, not just Paul. It wouldn't surprise me if the local butcher's bags of mystery meat don't contain human flesh every now and then, you know? That's how many people have died. That is gross and disturbing. You seem remarkably unperturbed about the possibility of 
dead people ending up in sausages. So my wife and child are missing. Have you seen them? Poor little mites. Nothing bad will happen to children. Nothing will happen to children. They'll come back someday. So this line of questioning won't really do us any good. And I believe there's something behind the vanity mirror. But we can't check it out while Penelope is in the room.